get ready for chest pains if you die you die gross earnings for this month 462,000 tax paid 180,815 to the village my name is bonnie i create content around careers education with a dose of reality check today we are looking at the data uh, space uh, the data industry people who are dealing with data we have a ba which is a business analyst a data analyst a data engineer intern a data scientist facilitator a data scientist and a software tester okay software tester i just added it here because this was supposed to be a video with 14 uh, pay slips because there's how many technology industry uh, pay slips i received recently but i was like no let me just split it into two so the next video is going to have the rest of the pay slips which will have a uh, network engineering senior support support uh, specialist and the sales force <laughs> make sure that you you don't miss that one uh, turn on notifications and subscribe guys subscribing is free okay so let's look at this uh, business analyst they have a national diploma in information technology and an advanced diploma in business analysis okay they've been working uh, they have 24 years of work experience right <laughs> oh okay i see they don't work for a south african company but they are based in south africa invoice amount six thousand us dollars how much is that in rents <laughs> that's around one hundred and ten thousand. Oh, i see here they did mention that they are a ba consultant so this is an invoice uh not a pay slip yeah so yeah i just went back to their email because i'm like okay did i miss something so this gives us around 110,000 per month now let's go to this data analyst so this one has one year and eight months of work experience they have a become statistics and finance from uct uh yeah they don't have a owners okay so they say they feel like they're underpaid let's see Basic salary 42,000 rands, total earnings 42,000 rands, underpaid where? No, I don't think you are underpaid. You just have one year of work experience. No, you are not underpaid, okay? Uh, pay is you earn 8,826, UIF 177, and yeah, total deductions 9,000 rands, and then a pay of 32,996 you are not underpaid <laughs> but i don't know guys what you think but i don't think they are underpaid okay okay this one is a data analyst they are actually one of those people who saw one of my videos back in 2023 and now they are working as a data analyst uh yeah they have a, a nqf5 that was not related to to tech okay which was in wealth management before they saw one of my videos and they did a course through Cozira. Okay, let's see how much they are making now as a data analyst. Basic salary 41,393. Total earnings 41,393. Uh, pays you earn 8,142. Uh, there's a lot of deductions. Total deductions 14,000. 176 and in a pay of 27,216. Uh, so you see, okay, the net pay is 27,000 because there's other things like a uh, provident fund, which is 3,100, and also discovered health is 2,727. Otherwise, guys, these people they are earning the same salary. <laughs> They're earning the same salary. The difference is the other one does not even have a degree. And the other one is a degree from UCT. That's the only difference between these two salaries. And remember, I have a get into tech guide. If you are someone who would like to get into data analytics, okay, data analysis. 
okay um yes so you can check it out data analysis software testing software dev and the digital marketing i know most people don't think digital marketing is part of the technology industry yes it is part of the technology industry you can check out the guide in the description box or email me if you like more information on it it's only 19 dollars and you get support and i think tonight we have a guest there is a data engineer they are going to come and speak to you you can ask them questions live you know nothing like here on youtube you can just ask them questions live i do that uh, every second week of the month i think next month we are going to either have a cloud devops engineer or a solutions architect just to tell us just to give us the tea about the industry okay let's move to this quant uh to this quant but they are they are a data scientist okay Yo, guys, get ready for chest pains. <laughs> get ready for chest pains. This pain slip has uh, a bonus. In a bonus, okay? But obviously, we are going to focus on the basic salary. Okay. So, they said uh, their gross uh, typically is 70,000 and their net is 45,000, okay? Because we're chatting on WhatsApp. That's a WhatsApp uh, screen. Uh, however, uh, yeah, I didn't want to put it on the payslip. The payslip had a lot of branding, you know, so I was really trying to remove the company logo and stuff. Okay, guys, so this one holds a become actuarial sciences a degree, okay? They have seven years of work experience. You can call them quant analyst or data scientist in investments, okay? uh yeah let's see how much they are earning or how much they got for bonus get ready for chest pains if you die you die <laughs> if you die you die basic salary sixty one thousand nine hundred and forty three annual bonus four hundred thousand rands gross earnings for this month four hundred and sixty two thousand Tax paid $180,815.64. Total deductions $181,000. Net pay of $281,000. Guys, why are you giving me bonus if I'm still going to take half of it to SARS? Like, what? Yo, no, guys, I'll be upset. I don't know about you. Yo, I'll be upset, Shem. I'll be upset. This is upsetting, I'm telling you. Yeah, so 400,000 bonus uh, for this uh, data scientist. Kids, stay in school. <laughs> now, let's see this data uh, science uh, facilitator. He was working for one of the one of the boot camps. I don't know if I should say uh, boot camps. Okay, so he coordinated and implemented uh, the delivery of data science courses, ensuring that the content was effectively structured and delivered. Okay, so this is like his first job after completing completing his master's degree. Uh, uh, did it for two years and now I've doubled the salary. Oh, okay. So he's no longer doing this anymore. So he says he has doubled this uh, salary. He has a national diploma in computer systems engineering, BTEC in electrical engineering, specializing in computer systems, master of engineering in electrical engineering, specializing in intelligence systems, and right now he is pursuing his phd in data science yo let's see how much he's earning okay rather let's see how much he was earning as this facilitator basic salary thirty-nine thousand four hundred and ninety-one, uh and a net pay of thirty-one thousand six hundred and thirty-two mm. Okay, this is under underwhelming. I don't know, guys. I'm confused. 
okay why is this guy okay maybe he likes to be in academia because right now he's pursuing his phd you know um but anyway we're not judging but we are judging <laughs> what a mess guys let's look at this data engineer in turn um they got this job straight after a boot camp i think they were still in the boot camp part of their learning okay so it was not like a proper salary it was like a stipend basic salary ten thousand brands uh deductions uh 463 and in a pay of nine thousand five hundred and thirty six but they are no longer in this program now they've moved and have a job okay let's look at this software tester you guys keep sleeping on software testing i don't know why because i feel like software testing and digital marketing are two of i'm not saying it's easy but i think it's easier to print into compared to like the other ones okay so soft, soft software tester without a degree or ISTQB certificate I'm a self-taught and I have four years experience in manual testing okay so they say people must look for tech roles within their current organizations and go and ask to shadow and learn then use the internet to gain the technical skills i do recommend getting the certificate for more weight wow once you've built those relationships go and sell yourself internally and get and gain some experience right basic salary thirty one thousand five hundred and fifteen 15 pays you in 5,000 rands, pension 1,250, you are F 477, and then there's other deductions which bring head deductions to 6,800 and a net pay of 24,714. I am happy with this, guys, <laughs> considering, considering that she just learned online. She doesn't even have the certifications that we are always preaching here. That get certified, get your certificate. Guys, I'm telling you, software testing is just one of those. But I know a lot of people don't see it. I mean, I see it, you know, but people don't see it. And I've seen people without a degree in software testing earning around 40, 45,000 with just three years of experience, you know. So it's not, it's not bad for a start. And then later you can progress you can register part-time for your degree or something you know just to to have that backup because uh, at some point you might want to move to management you know what i mean so yeah okay guys we've come to the end of this video uh, i hope you are inspired please check out the description box for the get into tech guide you can email me if you have some questions regarding that Mina, I'll see you on Wednesday. I am going to bring a part two of this uh, tech industry salaries. That part two will feature network network engineers, uh, SEP trainees, uh, sales force, okay, and someone who's senior in IT support space. So yeah, it's gonna be a different video, not your typical. Um, not a typical tech video with software engineers and stuff i'm really looking forward to it otherwise guys please like share the video and subscribe it's free bye